Welcome to All Things Moore County, Moore County's weekly radio show highlighting the many facets of the Sand Hills. That includes real estate, lifestyle, community and neighborhoods. And now from four properties, here's your host, Bill Sahadi. Good morning. Welcome to the talk show, All Things Moore County. Dorothy, we, um, we had a, a great show uh, a week or so ago. All about Spring Fest. Mm-hmm. Weather didn't cooperate. No, I noticed that. Um, but the Spring Fest went on. Yeah, it's good. I mean, some people showed up. Um, it was great to be able to sit and talk about an upcoming event. Yes. Um, and um, hopefully next year the weather will cooperate and it will be better. I think it's a 50-50 shot every year. But, hey, it's spring. What do you expect? It's going to rain. At least it wasn't too bad, was it? No, it, it wasn't terrible. But they closed it down a little bit early. But have you noticed the trend of our shows this year? They've been a mixture of real estate shows. Yes. And upcoming events, which are, are coming out of the woodwork. Yes. We go back and forth, back and forth. Well, those are the two kind of crazy topics we've had. Well, today we're going to swing back the pendulum, and we're okay. going to go back to real estate. Um, we've talked about what a seller's market this is. Mm-hmm. And um, in a normal market, my guest um, would be providing an unbelievable service um, to sellers, to real estate brokers, and it is an unbelievable service, um, and it's really directed towards the brokers in terms of how they market, um, and in a competitive market, this is one of the things that will give people a huge advantage. Um, Vince Fortner is my guest. He is the owner, uh, the franchise owner of Hamadi. And um, you had occasion to come in and see me a couple of weeks ago. I did. You want to recreate how that all happened <laughs> and how you got here? Sure. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you again, Bill. Yeah. For me and good morning. Yeah. Um, so uh, I provide uh, top real estate agents with uh, dynamic, dynamic visual content um, by adding uh, 3D tours, aerial video, HD photography, and uh, virtual staging. Um, so I'm from here in uh, Fort uh, Fort Bragg area. You were military. You were military. You're military. retired. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, I am a veteran, and uh, I'm married to my wife Karina. She is a, a you know, therapist. She's a men- mental health professional. Um, I have five kids, and uh, I didn't know that you have five children. <laughs> I have five children. I do. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have bags under his eyes or anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't see that. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, I drink a lot. I drink a lot of caffeine to, to compensate goodness. for that. Okay. Yeah. What ages? Um, so oldest one, she's twenty three. Oh my um, goodness! Yeah, and my youngest one, he's uh, he's twelve years old, and everything in between there. So okay, uh, some are still in the house, and some are uh, some are out uh, doing their own thing now. So, um, <clears throat> kind of what brought us back to Fort Bragg really is um, I joined the army in nineteen ninety nine. I was here twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, served here from 99 to 02 as uh, infantryman. I went back to, uh, you know, wanted to get out and went to college out in California. Um, and during that time when I went to school, there was a dot-com bust. I was going to school for computer mm-hmm. uh, network systems. So I went to school in California. And, um, you know, shortly after that, found other jobs in sales. And uh, mm-hmm. I just sold cars for a little while. I um, drove an ice cream truck, and I was in the National Guard. Um did a few things in the uh, the National Guard, and eventually around 2009, um, decided to switch over career paths and start uh, an aviation an aviation career. So started flying helicopters. Um, so the past 10 years, been uh, flying helicopters. Um, I was stationed at Fort Campbell, uh, Fort Drum, New York, um, mm-hmm. and back here at Fort Bragg again. So. Mm-hmm. Um, when we came back here the second time, we actually looked in Moore County. We looked at a few properties here, very nice properties. Yep. And we, uh, you know, almost pulled the trigger on, on two of them. We had two in mind, um, but it wasn't really what we were looking for. We actually found a property over on the Hoax side with a little more, uh, mm-hmm. a little more lands. Um, mm-hmm. So <clears throat> my Army career, you know, is, is pretty dynamic, I guess, uh, because I was doing multiple things. I was in the Army and kind of had doing drone work on the, on the side, starting up in New York, doing um, insurance claim work and commercial photography, so large warehouses, uh, uh, land development, things like that. I'm starting to see how this all segues into real estate. It, it does, yeah. So um, <clears throat> I, we have a property up in New York, which we're renting out still right now. Um, and possibly maybe sell that one this summer. We're still taking a look at how, how things are going to evolve there. Okay. Um, 
so left uh, Fort Drum, New York, came down here to, uh, to Fort Bragg uh, a few years back. And uh, it happened about 20, uh, 2019, my father got really, uh, my father got really sick and he had passed away. And luckily, they were down here in North Carolina at the time. And ever since I was younger, I've known that I want to run my own business. I right. want to do my own thing. That's what I want to do. Right. And after that had happened, he had passed away at a fairly young age from brain cancer, which kind of made me look at life through a different lens. I'm like, you know what? You know, life is short. I've always wanted to do this. I'm going to do it. Yep. And so I talked to... Uh, he inspired you in, he in inspired an indirect me. way. In indirect, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I used that as a, you know, a learning point, really. And I, you know, talked to my wife, Karina, and um, I'm like, hey, you know what, let's do the, well, you know, let's let's start looking and we'll do this thing. And uh, I did look around at different franchises. You know, I didn't have, I have a military background, aviation background. I didn't have a background in, you know, business or running restaurants or anything. But I looked at, you know, the typical uh, franchises, uh, like a you know, fast food restaurant or something like that. Like, it was pretty neat, pretty interesting. But um, in 2020... We had found this thing called Hamadi, just, you know, looking around like, well, I've been flying drones, doing drone things on the side for the past few years. And mm-hmm. there's this opportunity real estate, which we you know love real estate. We have, you know, a couple of properties now. And um, so I, you know, inquired about it and got invited in um, to interview with uh, Jerry Klum, who's the, the CEO and the founder of Hamadi. Mm-hmm. And so I um, went to Ohio and talked to, uh, talked to Jerry. And he trained me up and offered me a uh, franchise uh, owner position here in this area. And originally, I uh, I had inquired about getting Moore County here because it's a beautiful area, and who wouldn't want to you know live or work here? Right. Um, Hope County uh, for parts of Rayford, and then I know Cumberland County with a Jack Britt area, and uh, Hope Mills has a you know pretty nice area down there, pretty hot market. And uh, Jerry went ahead and offered me, you know, the surrounding counties around Fort Bragg as well. Mm-hmm. So my area is, you know, fairly large. Um, Jerry has a track record and a history of anticipating predictive models of future um, businesses or demographic shifts and trends. Um, and that was part of what inspired you. Yes. Um, so when I talked to him and I read up on, on Jerry and uh, he gave, gave me a copy of his book, I read his book. And for the past 30 years, he was um, he's a serial entrepreneur and um, he does predictive modeling um, and right. based on demographic shifts. So in the mid 90s, in 1997, he predicted that the the baby boomers were moving into the senior citizen realm. Right. And um, he developed a company um, called Comfort Keepers. So Comfort Keepers is an in-home uh, care company. Mm-hmm. He, he mm-hmm. had, uh, I believe, 750 franchises you know, around the world. In about seven years, is $350 million in, uh, in revenues. It's a very successful company. Uh, for the past um, past about 12 years, um, he's been in a relationship with uh, D- uh, Delina uh, Siamako, who's um, top 100 in the world, uh, real estate agents and uh, broker. Mm-hmm. And they, again, realize that there is going to be another demographic shift um, with millennials entering the marketplace to, right. uh, to purchase homes. Um, could you have, I don't think anybody could have predicted how today, in 2021, we're in such a seller's market. Um, you provide a soup to nuts marketing approach to helping sellers sell their homes. Last week um, in Southern Pines, we listed a home for sale and told people there was a, about a 24 hour wait period before people could see the home. We received four offers uh, on the blind without anybody physically being in the home. Mm-hmm. And then we had the first two days of uh, permit- permissible showings, 16 showings. The market is so seller friendly right now. It sort of puts you at a um, not a disadvantage, but not at the forefront where you hope to be. Sure, uh, that, and that's a great question. Um, but what uh, I've done with my own market research here in the area by talking to brokers, I talk to two or three brokers every week for the yep. past month. Yeah, and really, there's the low inventory, and the issue being the agents right now don't have. How are they going to win? Um, win a listing. How are they going to convince a potential seller 
to sell a home with them. Mm -hmm. So my primary demographic is the real estate agent and the broker, like you said before. Right. So this using Hamadi as a third party endorsement to help them build their credibility with a potential seller. If you were a real estate broker and you were to be my ghost or my shadow at a listing appointment and I could turn you on anytime I wanted to so that you could give your spiel, what would you say to the seller? How would you say it? Okay, so um, how would I how would I potentially say it to the seller? Okay, I um, mean I'm making a presentation and I'm talking about my experience and uh, testimonials and um, personal references I can give. Um, and by the way, uh, my marketing approach sure. is exceptional. So as you can see, I, um, yeah, the products there. We also have a, um, a package um, for featured agents. The Innovative Agents Magazine is another one we have. Um, the Innovative Agents Magazine, um, I have a copy over here. I'll get it to you maybe in the, the next segment. All right. But that there as well has a, a script along with it that we would potentially, that we would give to the agent. Okay. So by partnering with Helmati, they would um, say that they provide the latest in, uh, latest in technology and the highest quality product. So the three tours, aerial video, um, at a, at a reduced price. So essentially the, um, the agent would pay Homadi mm -hmm. and their really their investment in Homadi, um, allowing the, uh, it would build, uh, comfort or security in the seller. So also, um, I looked around, uh, with all the agents and who really stands out in the area. Mm -hmm. So I went on one of the major websites um, through the lens of a seller. Mm -hmm. I was like, who here, who in this Fort Bragg area kind of stands out amongst the other ones? Mm -hmm. And there was no real unique selling proposition. It was all how many years they've had um, in the industry. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if the agent says, you know, I've been in the industry for 10 years. I've been for this year. Everyone's saying that it's not unique. That's just a selling proposition. Right. So um, with uh, using Hamadi as a third-party endorsement, uh -huh. that in itself – um, creates the credibility for them. Uh -huh. um, Hamadi, um, in your way of thinking, puts the seller's property in its best light for the public? Absolutely. So um, Hamadi, really, what's in a name? So people ask, like, what does Hamadi really mean? So home. I'd love to know what that means. Home is, um, you know, obviously, you know, homes, right? So our business in homes. And Omadi is Omadidia. It's how uh, it's insects eye. So it's the uh, okay. photoreceptor cells in an insect's eyeball, and so it allows the bug to you know see everything 360. So we're looking at a home at every aspect. Okay. Um, so many people today are purchasing property from afar, a from a distance. Um, they're not physically in the area. Um, you talk about the demographic shifts, and our area is heavily driven by military, and they're not here. Physically. Sure. So what do they want? They want their brokers to go out and um, tour a home and FaceTime with them. And um, But if they go online uh, with a, a broker that uses Hamadi, um, you do 3D interactive tours, mm -hmm. aerial videos, um, 2D ultra HD photography, virtual staging. Tell me about augmented reality. So augmented reality, um, I have a full uh, green screen uh, setup as well that I can bring to the brokerage. Now the augmented reality um, is filmed via the green screen and then played back and then used uh, while using the Hamadi app. And um, that image of the real estate agent has the, you know their pitch of their their history and their selling proposition is again played over the top of that uh, that property they're looking at. I got you. I got you. What about um, floor plans? Okay. Uh, the floor plans, which I'm also going to go into a little bit later, is uh, made with the Matterport um, camera, which you can see here. Okay. Now, that camera um, is great quality camera. It's 134 megapixel. Yeah. Um, it's got uh, 3D uh, photo depth sensors, which creates greater than 99% accuracy on the floor plan. Okay. So you speak like an engineer. And most brokers <laughs> listen to you and go, okay, fine. How does yeah, it work? Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, show me what it looks yeah. like. We don't get, we're not as um, detailed, maybe oriented. We just want to know that it works. Um, and I think you probably have that experience the more you speak to um, to people. We're more big picture. Sure. You're, you're much more into the minutia and the detail. 
Um, but I'll tell you, one of the things that sellers always say to me, um, when they purchased their home, the most important thing that they looked at from afar was the floor plan of the home as a photograph, not as a separate document, but as part of the photograph so they could uh, visualize their family or their things. Um, and that's one of the things you bring to the table. Yes, definitely. Uh, we have the, uh, there's a doll, it's called a dollhouse view on um, with the Matterport. You see it in dollhouse view. Also with the virtual staging, um, we can provide virtual staging, adding furniture, um, removing furniture from a home. Yeah. If able. So it's a slight yep. upcharge, but not much at all. Okay. Um, so you are basically, um, Hamadi is a soup to nuts marketing arm of an experienced broker's um, um, listing presentation. Is that accurate? This is accurate. Okay. Um, the p paperwork, I think um, you've got a couple of different. Uh, programs um they're very intuitive um decrease time on market by up to 31 percent and sell for four to nine percent higher on as an average sales price where do you get those numbers from so a study was conducted um, through Matterport and uh, Texas Tech okay. and Homadi okay so that's where the data points come from okay. there's a third party um uh, study okay today nor normal market you know today yes. yeah today <laughs> i mean you're right in a normal yeah. market um but but this is a good time to sow the seeds because things can't continue on this path they just can't they're going to have to reset and resettle um and there's got to be a little bit more reality coming into our market um but this is a great time to lay the groundwork um because we have um, many brokers in in moore county um, and they all have different, um, they all come from different cultures and different philosophies on how to get from here to there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everybody is viable, but this is something that they could look at to add to their arsenal, um, at least for consideration. Um, we're going to come back in the second set, and um, I'd love to spend a little time going into some detail on some of the uh, props that you brought in. Okay. And... Um, talk about how the meeting gets set up once you get hired by an, a real estate broker, um, how you uh, initiate the, uh, the process. Okay. We're speaking with uh, franchise owner Vince Fortner from Hamadi. Um, it's all about real estate marketing um, and uh, getting a seller's home out there in its best light. This is all things more County. Welcome back to All Things More County. Um, our guest is Vince Fortner. He is a um, uh, retired military. He has come from an experienced background where he's, he's kind of evolved into um, what Hamadi is as a full-service marketing tool for real estate professionals. Um, and, you know, I see all of your, your presentation was very impressive. I've been doing this for 20 plus years and um, I probably list and sell about 30 or 35 homes a year. Um, and we draw on our experience. We hire a photographer to go in. We, we shoot still photos. We do um, a virtual tour, a video, uh, hire a professional uh, floor planner to go in and measure the home. I have a hard time with stick figure i mean i can't even draw my <laughs> write my name and um we try to put together as much as we can so that visually we're presenting the home in its best light but we use different people to um we have our own little team um how would you come in and and would you be offering it as a one-stop shop everything under one umbrella yes um we we are a one-stop shop for uh, for those services okay. and very comprehensive uh, program. Now, if you do have if you have a two D photographer that you like, you have two D stills, you can keep your photographer, um, and we could augment the other services as well. 
Okay, so you, you're willing to work with the brokers who have established relationships with different vendors? If you have established re- relationships, absolutely. Okay. Um, is this something that you would recommend for higher-end homes or just any home of any any type of value? I would say any type of value. So um, I'd say both sides can really benefit. Now, if you have a higher-end home, you can go on to, um, you know, the platinum package is the most popular Um um, but there are other packages you can get for a higher end home. Now, if in a normal market, if you do have a home that's you hasn't sold and it's been on the market for mm-hmm. you know 180 days or something, you might have to maybe uh, step it up and you know get a platinum package on the home with a 3D tour or something like that. So there's really both both aspects can uh, can benefit. Okay, what do you say to the um, the saying that if you have a home on the market that hasn't sold, no matter what people say about why it hasn't sold there's only one reason it hasn't sold and that is the price sure yeah i could definitely see that um so <laughs> sometimes I guess we can do what market. we yeah do what we can yeah do what we can to try to make that home look better um right. yeah through uh you know 3d tour aerial, vid- aerial video or, or something along the along those lines but okay so walk me through much, the, yeah not much we can do about the price of the home yeah so for two hundred ninety nine dollars, you have what's called a platinum listing package. Sure. Um, and then it says save even more as a featured agent and pay only two forty nine. Sure. Um, we have uh, what's called the uh, featured agent uh, featured agent program. So if you sign up with Homadi, you pay twenty nine ninety five a month. Okay. And there's certain benefits you get as a uh, as a featured agent. It's like like joining Costco. You spend um, you know, so almost. much money a year, and then you go and you buy. I, I'm happy to be compared to Costco, <laughs> if that's the case. Okay. Absolutely. But isn't that's so funny, because that's where Costco makes their money, is on their membership fees. It's not on their low margins. Um, um, but that's interesting. Okay, so you sign a broker up, $29.99 a month, $29.95 well, The agent month. would be $29.95, and we have packages for brokers as well. And it's is it month package. to month? Is it a 12-month commitment? Month, month to month. Really? Yeah, we do not sell your information. Okay, so that's so. that's actually pretty good mm-hmm. in case somebody wants to um, uh, try you out for three months. They don't have to commit to another six. It's You allow them to date you before they marry you, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely, and I would... Uh, you know, hope that it would stay with me, and we have certain things we can do to uh, make sure that they stay happy as well. Okay. And you also offer in the Platinum Listing Package um, a PDF brochure? Sure. The PDF brochure is on the homani.com website, and the website um, it syndicates with the MLS, um, So, and I do have the MLS access as well. Okay. Um, yeah, if Abe like to talk about the uh, website just real quick as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we are the Homani app is available on the App Store and Google Play, and the website is www.homani.com, or my landing page is um, www.homani.com forward slash office forward slash 196. Um, but our, our website can help the real estate agents uh, get control of their leads by not um, losing those leads to the major uh, real estate websites. So we have a syndication process built in so that all of the services I provide, um, either the aerial video or the 3D tour, is then recaptured and not lost and brought back to the, uh, the agent or the broker. Do you think real estate brokers spend enough time delineating between the different generational groups um, from millennials on up to the older boomers and everything in between? No, I wouldn't think they would. They don't have time for that. Right. I mean, just like, you know, for example, if I, you know, if I have a problem with my car, you have a problem with your car or something or electrical in your house, you're going to pay someone to go in that has the time to do that. And pay them not to even tell me what they did. Just it, say it works. It, it's fine. It, it works. It's done. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, information to process. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the, the more, I mean, I've just started since 1 April um, with the business. And right now, like you said, just laying the groundwork and talking to brokers. Right. The fact-finding mission. Right. To see really um, what the potential issues are now and how we can, uh, and, and it all comes down to the same thing as helping the uh, uh, selling agent win more listings. Um, we, we talk on the show quite a bit about the demographic shift in Moore County mm-hmm. um, from 1999 when I first moved here, which is when you were here at the mm-hmm. same time, 
um, to today and how much the average age is getting younger. Um, uh, you quote that uh, almost 70% of millennials mm-hmm. will buy a home in the next five years. Um, there's 76 million millennials, <laughs> and 70% is a, a serious number. It, it really is. And you know, right now, it's uh, I think 35%. Um, of the buying market is millennials. Now it's one year ago. And that's their data. So in four years, by 2025, it's going to shift to over half the buyers are going to be uh, millennials. Mm-hmm. Today, the millennials are um, they're having a tough time as first time buyers because of it's a nationwide um, situation being such a strong seller's market. And um, I remember buying the very first home. I was about 23 or 24 years old. I never forgot that experience. I never forgot my agent. Um, I bought a small little place um, in the Philadelphia area, Mm -hmm. and it was a little tri-level, one bedroom. I thought I was hot stuff. (laughs) And um, if I remember, it was under $100,000, and I lived there for a couple of years, and like everything else in the 70s and 80s, everything just kept going up, up, up. So we had, as first-time buyers, very positive experiences with real estate. I'm not so sure first-time buyers today are going to have that same experience, and we try to tell them to be very judicious and to try to, you know, purchase below appraised value if at all possible. But this market is not being um, very friendly to to buyers. It's just so competitive. Yeah, absolutely. And it is hard. I mean, I've, I've you know, I'm sure just as you have in every other broker is look online and, and look at every resource we have and talk to each other to see what the next, mm-hmm. what six months looks like or what one year, two years looks like. Mm-hmm. And everything's different. It's all speculation. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I guess trying to be prepared for every aspect would be um, the approach right now is kind of what, you know, the other brokers I've been talking to. Do you find um, that the featured agent program leads to um, uh, more success for the listing agent uh, compared to just doing the platinum um, listing package? Uh, Well, I get all my data from uh, all the other um, Hamadi franchises as well, and I get all of the um, data from them, and the platinum package is the most successful package. We have only, I think it's 11% cancellation rate um, for featured agents. That's pretty good. So so it, it is very good. Um, because we have a best price guarantee, we provide, you know, all the, uh, it's a one-stop shop, very comprehensive um, package. Okay. Tell me about, um, you're syndicated to uh, lots of other real estate sites. So if if um, we do a listing with you and you take over from soup to nuts, what um, real estate sites are you syndicated with? Okay. Um so the way it works is that if when I provide that platinum package or even aerial video 3D tour, it's then um, given to the real estate agent. That agent then uploads to the MLS. And then it goes out to the syndicated website. Absolutely. And that's, then, how, so, you're, that's, and that's how, how we're recapturing that information. So if, for example, someone up in New York um, looks at that house on Realtor.com or Zillow or, or Redfin or you name whatever website it is. Mm-hmm. They watch the 3D uh, tour or aerial video, mm-hmm. and then they get rerouted back to um, our agent, and they get that lead no matter what website they look at that property on. I see. Um, you know, the truth is that um, in our MLS, it, we all share the same data, the same platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, we all have access to the same database that syndicates out to all the websites. So... Brokers are going to be looking for um, things that maybe will give them a competitive edge, um, Hamadi being one of those Mm -hmm. uh, items, um, just to tweak it because all the brokers are basically working with the same set of rules and regs. Um, So it helps to differentiate uh, when you're talking to a seller. I'm sure that's one of your approaches. Absolutely it is. Um, Now, I have done my research as well. Um, I think MCR is the... uh, um, agency here in this area. We also have Longleaf Pine, another one up north by uh, Sanford. Uh-huh. And we definitely comply with the code of, ec- the code of ethics for that. Okay. Um, and it is a fair advantage. Um, it's not an unfair advantage at all. 
Yeah. Um, Vince Fortner is our guest. Um, Hamadi is uh, new to the area. Can I say that? Yes. But um, you're here to stay, it sounds yes. like. Okay. Um, we're going to come back in the third set and continue talking about the services that Hamadi provides to um, uh, local real estate brokers. Welcome back to our um, third and final set of All Things More County, um, speaking with um, Vince Fortner of Hamadi and uh, talking all about the, um, the benefits of uh, marketing properties for sale um, to appeal to all the generations, but kind of cutting edge stuff. Um, the packages are pretty uh, soup to nuts, um, and you do all this work yourself, huh? I do. I am the owner-operator right now, wow. and I do have plans to expand in about a year, year and a half, yeah. um, building the team. So you have to train all the people to come in so they have they know how to do the aerial videos, the Matterport? All the training is standardized, so all the, uh, okay. they, go, they go to Ohio um, to the headquarters, and the training is conducted there. Okay. People can go on YouTube also and uh, get some information about Hamadi? They can. Uh, we have resources as well for the agents that sign up as a feeder, uh, featured agent. Okay. So. Okay. Um, can, can you, um, I, I know this is a relatively new franchise for Moore County, mm -hmm. um, but Hull County, but um, is there a success story or something that you would like to talk about that helps illustrate the benefits of the, uh, the potency of the uh, packages that you offer? Sure. Um, so most of the growth right now with Hamadi has come from the national level of some of the franchises who've been established a little bit longer building their clientele. So right now, like I mentioned before, it's been the fact-finding mission and the success for success story for the fact-finding mission is found. I found out that uh, the issue lies with the uh, potential agents that don't have the listings and that cannot win the listings. So that has been identified. And I do, there's multiple training sessions set up for the next few months with other brokers in the area here in Moore County, um, Hoke and Cumberland County. Now, I mean, what I, what I would tell, um, if I were to talk to you, the brokers right now, if I have a hundred, if I had a hundred brokers in the, uh, in this room with me, I would say, what are the brokers or your marketing program doing right now? What are you doing right now to help your agents win those listings? What are you doing to help them? Are you, are they being trained? Do they have the latest technology? Mm -hmm. Are they up to date with, um, uh, you know, what the market looks like? Are, are they not only up to date, are they in tune with the future as much as they can possible? Mm -hmm. um, for, for example, one day I talked to a broker um, up north of Fort Bragg, I'm gonna say exactly where, and he told me, he said, we have two Matterport, we have a couple of cameras, we already do, we, we do that. Mm -hmm. I was, and he's like, my, my agents don't use it. I'm like, well, you know why they don't use it? It takes time. It takes half a day, you know, for someone who's not trained to go in there right. and do a 3D scan on a house. It, right. takes, it takes time. That's time that an agent can be using um, to someone doing a listing presentation. Um, so I'd say, what are the, the brokers doing right now to help those agents out? You know, because, of course, I think we have you know, a 20% or 10% does all the work and you have some other agents that do less work. Right. And what are, what are the brokers doing to help those bottom agents get up to where, to where they're at? You know, they might need that little bit of a boost. They might need that extra unique, something unique for them to, um, possibly win those listings. Mm -hmm. Um, also the other challenge, you know, challenges and then how we fix those challenges. Uh, we talked about millennials, the demographic shifts, the home, how home buyers are finding homes, um, that's trending more towards online um, and the latest technology. I mean, we have the latest stuff right here, highest quality uh, um, equipment. Um, so agents must adapt to, to the, the marketing strategies. And that's really the big real estate websites. They are poaching the leads. They are more every year, every month diving into that, uh, the agents and the brokers profit. So how are you going to get that? How are you going to potentially get that back? Mm -hmm. Um, so um, also need to re regain control of those, of those leads. I mean, how many leads are, are, are the brokers missing out, are the agents missing out on? You don't know because they're not being recaptured. They're going to major websites and but, leaving. But, but most of the leads seem to be buyer-generated, not seller-generated. Correct, correct. And that would be on the, the, from the buyer standpoint. Yeah. So if they're, you know, for example, I, um, 
I watched this, uh, you had a guest, I think, last month, and she n- mailed it on the head. It was a, a program, um, she said, from a seller's perspective, uh-huh. and she said something in there. Uh-huh. She said, um, I, I, there's a lot of agents. I went online to try to find someone to sell my home, and there's just a, a sea of agents. Yeah. And I did the same thing. I went there, and I looked, and I looked at everybody, and they, they all looked the same. Mm-hmm. They all looked the same. So it's 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 not unique. It's a slang proposition. It's kind of a you know, shot in the dark on who you're going to pick. Unless it's a word of word of mouth, yeah. So, personal referrals personal are the referrals, strongest. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Those testimonials mean a lot. Um, so I mean, with Homadi, uh, you have a featured agent program. Um, it's a very low investment, uh, very low price point, um, best price guarantee, the latest in tech. Um, and we talked about what what's included with some of those packages. We have all the price points. I mean, I can have a la carte services are, are um, I provide as well. Um, new home builds, another new home builds, another one. I can provide services for new home builds. And that's got to be more challenging because of the different stages of construction. Absolutely. And it is. It, it's not, um, it, it's quite different. It'd be more like an a la, a la carte approach for um, staging homes and things that sort of aerial flyovers for the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I'm looking at your, um, your menu of services. Sure. I mean, these brochures are. Uh, really for the broker um, are any of the brochures um, earmarked towards the seller for the listing presentation so that would be um, the uh, innovative agents magazine okay. which we have okay um, that also um, there's an image here if you see at the, um, next to the Homadi uh, crest there there's a magazine now with that magazine I, um, I provide there's a script that goes along with that magazine as well for okay. the listing presentation um, okay. With, uh, we, like I said before, we have online resources to help the agent as well. Yeah. So uh, when you talk about scripts, I, I kind of get allergic. Sure. sure. Yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah. And, and let me tell you why. Because uh, an experienced broker will make a presentation without a script, but it will be a script in, in a way. Mm-hmm. In other words, it's just second nature. Um, I've found that if a, a broker is too paper bound on a on a listing presentation sure. and too dependent on props, mm-hmm. um, that maybe comes across as um, not all experience as experienced as possible, as opposed to speaking off off the cuff a little bit, okay. but still maintaining um, um, ideas that are consistent. The, yeah, the, absolutely, the word script. I just yeah. Maybe a, a helping guide or something. Okay, okay. <laughs> or, or just, you know, just props. Yeah. Just props <laughs> to help facilitate the conversation that you're having. Um, so it, it's pretty intuitive. The website, I'm sure, um, sets us all up because all the stuff that you've provided with me comes from the website, correct? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, isn't it amazing, 20 years ago, people were hemming and hawing about going online and buying anything, right? Today, people are online for everything. Buying homes is one of them. Sure. Uh, Going onto Amazon is another. Um, People buy detergent online. I mean, it's crazy. But people are buying homes virtually. Mm -hmm. And... um, it's in this seller's market. It's it's crazy because the the virtual purchaser is not as strong as perhaps the one that was in the house, vetted the house. It, it gives the seller a little bit more peace of mind that they were actually there with less risk. But this technology continues to change. I can't imagine where we're going to be in ten years. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who knows? I mean, right now, um, I think uh, we just have to. Um, or the agents would have to regain regain control of the leads that they do have mm-hmm. um, because that as as tech gets more um, advanced as the larger real uh, real estate websites get more advanced they're mm-hmm. going to find other creative ways to uh, you know, possibly dip into that uh, the agent's commission mm-hmm. um it, there's a lot of great information in in here um where buyers found the home they purchased sure yeah and that's the internet uh, 43 no, this only goes up to 2014 yeah that's uh yeah that's def that's an older uh sure. older scale but you can see the direction that it's trending yeah 
You know, it, you can take that. Internet and real estate brokers are the two leading. Yard signs, no. Friend, relative, or neighbor, no. Home builder, no. Directly from the sellers, no. What's the relationship between the internet and um, real estate brokers today, 2021? Do we know? Yeah, um, I guess the brokers can really use that as a tool. So they're going to use the internet as a tool to get those listings out and uh, and capture those leads as a complete lead generation. Yeah. I mean, 76% of homes are purchased either through real estate brokers or and or found on the internet mm-hmm. online. That's a lot. It is a lot. And the younger the buyers get, the more dependent they are on um, technology. Absolutely. To do so. And uh, the demographic here in the area is all uh, is a lot of military. Yeah. And the way we all kind of work the same, we're like, hey, we're going to do our, our due diligence, our, our, our you know, recon first. We're going to check out everything online, and we're going to schedule some appointments and come down. And you know, we might have a week or a couple of days to look at three or four properties, and that's it. Yeah. One of the, one of the uh, disadvantages of the virtual purchasing and looking online, a couple of things. Too many um, buyers look at statistics from uh, different syndicated websites that are predictors of value, mm-hmm. and they're not usually accurate. Um, and even with all the advanced technology... Uh, and the tools that are you make available, nothing replaces the importance of a real estate broker on the ground um, with all the contacts, with the, the vendors that help them through the due diligence period, that understand the neighborhoods. That element has not changed. Absolutely. Um, it's just that the introduction to the broker mm-hmm. may have changed. It's a circuitous route, but... Um, the, the value of a broker is more important today than ever, I, I believe. Yeah, I would, I would absolutely agree. Um, and what what the tech would do is make that uh, meeting more credible when they get to the, when they finally get to the broker. They've done some research on it, right? Or they meet with the agent. It, they are more credible, right? Um, and for example, I, like you said before, that face to face. That's exactly my approach as well. I I walked in your office and introduced myself, right? And I think that's one thing that. Um, um, we may be missing out on the future is as we get more involved with tech, it's less that personal interaction. And that's, you know, the largest person anyone's going to make is purchasing a home. But you also vet the people you approach. You didn't just walk into my office and Absolutely. Just say, I, I'll just cold, cold no. call on four properties. No, no, I, I do my I do my research on uh, online about the, the agency before I visit. I kind of have an idea of how many agents they have, what listings they have, right. what the background of the, the company is. So. Right. And... Um, uh, yeah, it's what you offer is um, is very valuable, and I uh, wish you a lot of luck in um, getting the word out to people in our area. We have um, some great brokers in Moore County, and as you know, it's a very vibrant market. Um, so my guess is there'll be a lot of people who will want to uh, reach out to you and, and sit down and have a conversation. Great, great. In the meanwhile, people can go to your website, uh, homati.com, H-O-M-M-A-T-I, and they can look at a lot of the stuff we've been talking about today. Yes, you can. And um, let's hope this market um, balances out a little bit. Sure. <laughs> um, so we can get buyers and sellers more on an even level playing field. Um, I appreciate you coming in to see us. Bill, thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Uh, this is All Things More County. Have a great week.